Hi there, welcome back. It's Thrifty Shells here to do another Dollar Tree haul. Welcome if you're new here. I do shopping hauls and reviews. And be sure to like my video if you like watching hauls. And let's get into the haul, shall we? Um, if you haven't seen back there, um, I actually did a new little fall and Halloween decor. So yeah, um... If you haven't checked out my TJ Maxx haul, be sure to go check that out. I'll link that up in the eye in the sky there. And that's probably why you'll see me in this shirt because I'm doing two videos in a row. So anyways, let's get into the haul, shall we? Um, first item is I found some new socks. Of course I did. They had some great new socks. They had Pooh Bear. They had a couple variations of the Pooh Bear. Um, which I think I will do like a video short on the videos on the little sock section that I took. I'll probably do a short or something. Or maybe I'll post it on my Instagram. Which I'll put my Instagram right here for you. And it will also be linked down in the description. But yeah, anyways. Yeah, I've seen a different, a different variation of the Pooh Bears. But I decided this one was the cutest. Um, it's Disney. It's... Sizes 9 to 13, and they're the really stretchy kind. So, I do like these ones, and they're $1.25 at Dollar Tree. Um, anything in my haul today is $1.25. Um, then Huddy wanted to get these ET ones. I like ET as well, but I'm trying to like not get so many socks, but he was with me, so he wanted to get the ET ones. And he said he'd wear them more around the house. Um, when it gets cold out. Because our floors get really cold here. Oh, and then I got this cookie monster one. Because, of course, it's cookies. And it's adorable. I love the cookie monster. So, yeah. That's definitely really cute. That's Sesame Street. Um, then I got this one for my dad. He likes cars and stuff. So, I thought maybe he'd like this one. Um, it says 95, oh, I think this is, like, the, actually from the movie, uh, I forget the name of that one, but it's a Pixar movie, that's why it says Pixar, um, the Cars movie, because it's, like, Lightning McQueen or something, I think that's what that is, but he likes Cars, so I think he'd like this one, I don't know. There's that one. Then I found a new toothbrush. And these are like the little squishy mellows. And it comes with a battery. So that's a good deal. Most, um, most of these toothbrushes. Sometimes they do come with two, um, batteries. But a lot of stuff that you find in Dollar Tree doesn't. never comes with batteries. So it's good that it does. But anyways. Yeah. They got this one. And I got this one for me. I already have a toothbrush right now. But when I run out. You know. When you replace it every so often. Uh, of course, I'll use the little squishmallows. And it's got a little um, unicorn there. Like a little uni bear there. I didn't even see that while I was in the store. I just seen it had a bunch of squishmallows on it. And it was definitely cute. Um, it's Sonic powered. Easy grip handle. And it's from Brush Buddies. So yeah. This is the only one that I've seen there. So let me know down in comments if you've seen anything other than the like in the Squishmallows or something like that in these toothbrushes. <clears throat> uh, next item is I found these Moon Hydrogel Eye Masks. And if you haven't seen my Pamper Me video, um, I did a video with some under eye stuff and a mask and all kinds of other stuff. But, yeah, I'll leave that at the end of the video. But, yeah, I thought I'd just, like, stock up on some new stuff. And I seen this, and it was, it was purple and sparkly. So, I thought I'd get it. This one is by Be Pure. And then, of course, I seen a new mask, so I had to get it. Um, this side is Vanilla Cookie Cream Mask. And it says it's scented. So, I hope it's really scented. Um, then this one says it's hot cocoa mud mask. That should be nice. A mud mask? I like mud, mud masks. They're really nice. So hopefully these ones are. Um, this one is also by Be Pure. And it also has the little, um, 
sign on there. You could just mark it out with a marker if you wanted to, if you was given this for a gift. But yeah, um, this one should be good, but it's a two-in-one, so that's a really good deal. Um, next up is I've had a few snackies, of course. Um, I see these honey roasted peanuts, and I kind of wanted to try them. It's by Star Snacks. So yeah, I thought I would try these out. I'll let you know if I like them or not. I don't want to try them out right now. Um, then I found this one. This one says it's mixed nuts, and it says it's less than 80% peanuts. And it says it's gluten-free and plant-based protein, so there's that. You can kind of see what's in there a little bit. But yeah, it had a different mixed variety. So I thought I would get this one to try out. That's by Star Snacks. Um, then Hubby seen that he wanted this. He's never tried that, those before. And it's the Hello Panda by... I can't say that name. So that's an M. Yeah, but anyways, whatever that's called. And it says it's cream center with crunchy shell. And it's chocolate. And they're little bite-sized pandas. Well, they got panda on the little figure there. Yeah, those should be good. Maybe. Um, next item is I finally found that they had all the kabuki brushes. Um, I got the Ursula one. I didn't get all three of them because I didn't want all three of them. And I actually seen that they had the, um, oh, I can't talk for a second. I seen that they had the, the, the lip glosses. Um, I'll put a picture like right here or something, or I'll also put it on my Instagram as well. But yeah, they had like the lip glosses, um, in the villains. Um, I kind of passed up on it. I've been getting way too much lip gloss lately and I, yeah, I don't need all that lip gloss. So, yeah, I passed up on it. Doing good. <laughs> Not spending that kind of money. But, anyways, yeah, this is cute. It's purple. It doesn't have the actual figure on the brush, I don't think. It doesn't look like it. It's just purple. So, yeah, it's pretty nice, though. Nice looking. And also, this would make for a nice little stocking stuffer. Or even like a Christmas present. Uh, next item is I found these Sour Suckers. It's the Carnival Pop. And I thought I would get this package. And put them in my trick or treat bag. I'm like trying to get a bunch of different variety of bags of candy. And this one is by the company called B. Oh, yeah. By the company called B. And it says it's manufactured on shared equipment with products containing milk and soy. So, yeah, if you're lactose intolerant, I wouldn't try these. Because they said it contained it. It says it's made in Vietnam. So, yeah, I thought I would put that in my little stash of Halloween candies. Oh, speaking of candies. I seen that they had this crazy straw pop. I've seen these a couple of times and I never got it. But yeah, I thought I'd get one. Um this one's cotton candy flavor, the only reason I wanted it. But yeah, after you're done with eating the little candy, you have a cute little straw, a crazy straw. I used to have these all the time as kids. Uh the all these crazy straws. I loved those straws when I was a kid. But yeah, anyways, I thought I'd get that, try it out. Um, then they had this new Pampa. It's by Pampa, and it's called Risotto Rice with Cheese. And you get six ounces in there. So I thought I would try that out. Um, it just says... 
I don't think you need anything. Oh, it just says you can use an optional thing of butter. Other than that, you just use the box. I thought I'd try that out with a dinner or something, you know, put it up in the pantry. <clears throat> um, next item is I needed a thing of the pancakes because we're all out. And they have this buttermilk one. I don't know if I've ever seen the buttermilk one there. I think I've always seen the original one there, but not the buttermilk. But I'm not sure. Anyways, I picked this one up because I can also do waffles in this because I have a little mini waffle maker. So, yeah, I could do that as well. <clears throat> um, next item is I picked up some dandruff shampoo. Um, I actually, my hubby really likes this. And I like it too. Um, it's the Next Gen Salon Professionals um, dandruff sh shampoo. And it's classic clean. And we've bought this like three or four times now. And it's really good. Um, sometimes you don't see this there at Dollar Tree. So... You might may need to get like one or two, you know, in stock, just in case, you know, they don't have it there anymore. I I should have done that and got an extra one, but I didn't. Um. Then I seen this Odo Ban Eliminate Odor thing. I've never seen this there. And apparently, it's like a bag of solution or something of this cleaning solution and it's supposed to absorb the odor so I could try this like in my closet or something you know if you have like a musty closet or basement it says down here for suggested uses basements laundry room closets bathroom garages stored boats RV storage sheds and second homes and it's by odoban.com so, it is a um, name brand. I don't know if they're, like, considered, um, what's that name where it's considered trademark? But I don't think it's trademarked. I don't know. But they do have a website there, so, and it's name brand. And it says it lasts up to 30 days, and you get one hanging bag pack. And it's in the Ocean Breeze scent. So I thought I would get this. And maybe I'll let you know how I like it in a review or something. <clears throat> um, then, next I got this sweet chili sauce. I'm going to do meatballs this week. Sometime in my crock pot. It's beginning to be crock pot season. But a lot of them do like the October crock pot, you know, those recipes and all that. I be watching that and all that, all those videos. But anyways, I thought I'd do a mix of the strawberry um, jelly and a mix of the sweet chili sauce. And then I pour that into the crock pot, pour my meatballs in there. I get the frozen kind because it's just easier that way. And then uh, let the simmer for like four or five hours and your meatballs done. You can make a thing of rice. And like broccoli or something to go with it. And it's good to go. Then my hubby decided to get this Twix coffee. He likes these. Um, then I think I got a thing of the toilet paper. But you've already seen that before. And I got a thing of the hangers. Because I needed some more hangers. Um, I think that was the last item. Yeah. I think it was. Try to look here. Yeah, that was the last item. So be sure to give me a like if you like watching Dollar Tree hauls. And I'll put a video here at the end that you can go check out if you haven't watched that. Or there's one linked up there in the eye in the sky. You can go check that out if you want as well. And thank you for watching. Bye.